Tell me what I'm asking you to do in this problem. What I'm asking you to do in this problem, what I'm asking you to do in this problem is to simplify. When we simplify, we apply the order of operations. Meaning inside the parentheses, we want to simplify inside the parentheses first. Right? That's what order of operations. Then we apply the exponents. So can I simplify this expression inside here at all? Yeah, the first thing you want to do is I would say is always try to simplify the numerator and the denominator, and then here is your rule. So right now I have, I can rewrite this as 12 um, over 6. So I'll write this as 12 x squared y cubed divided by 2 x to the fifth y to the eighth divided by negative 1. Now again, I can simplify inside of here by using my quotient rule, right? I can subtract my powers because I'm dividing these exponents with the same base. Well, does 2 divide into 12? Mm -hmm. How many times? 6. six. I'm going to leave it as a fraction. I'm going to leave it as 6 over 1. So I remember that the 6 is in the numerator, not the denominator. Then this becomes x to the 2 minus 5. And this is y to the 3 minus 8. Obviously, I'm just showing my work. If you guys want to quickly write in the answer, that's fine. Um, but what you get is 6 over 1 times uh, z to the negative third and y to the negative fifth. Correct? Or x. I don't know where z came from. So now i got to make them positive. So now I'm going to rewrite them in the denominator. So I have 6 over x cubed y to the, y to the fifth. Right? Yes? And this is all raised to the negative first power. So now, have I simplified inside the parentheses as much as I can? Now, I've showed every single step. You guys don't need to show that many steps. You could probably skip a couple of those. Now, we distribute. The power to quotient rule states you can distribute this as long as it's across the quotient division. And we can also use the power to product on this one. As long as it's across the product, then I can distribute here. So I have 6 to the negative first divided by x cubed to the negative first times y to the fifth to the negative first. Okay, now you can obviously multiply these again. So you have 6 to the negative first divided by x to the negative third, y to the negative fifth. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we can't write them as negative exponents, right? So if we have a negative in the numerator to write it positive, we put it in the denominator. If we have a negative in the denominator to make it positive, we write it in the numerator. So my final answer is x cubed y to the fifth divided by 6. I don't know why I saw these parentheses here. And there you go. Anybody have any questions? Preguntas?